What's up guys, Jesus Quesadilla here, and today I'm bringing you guys something that's decidedly different from what I normally do. Um, I've been playing a lot of San Andreas lately, I thought I'd take a break from that and try out something that's, well, pretty much the exact opposite. This is The Political Machine 2012, a game that's available on Steam. Um, I decided to pick it up here today because I'd been looking at it for a while and it was actually on sale. Um, at the time of me recording this video, I think it was on, like, sale for 50% off or something for five bucks, which, you know, ain't bad. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it out, because it looked kind of cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a spin here today. Let's go ahead and load up a new game. And, um, I've actually never even played this game before, so it's going to be a, a kind of interesting experience, I think, just as I figure things out. But let's just play around, uh, let's set the game length to as short as it'll go. Um, I want to give myself as... Well, you can give yourself more money, and you can change the difficulty. Um, I think since I've never played this, let's just go ahead and put all the odds to my advantage. Let's go ahead and turn the difficulty all the way down. Give myself 200% of the starting money, and I don't know what all these little check boxes do, so I think I'm just going to ignore them. Huh. But yeah, I was reading the description for this game, and the thing that caught my eye was the fact that, uh, that not only do you have historic candidates along with the current candidates here running in 2012, well, I mean, we already have Romney and Obama running, but that were campaigning in 2012, but you can also create your own custom character, which I thought is a really high selling point for this game. So what I'm going to do today is campaign as Jesus Quesadilla and see if I can't beat whoever my um, opponents or opponents are. But um, it's pretty cool, you got like Al Gore and... Hillary Clinton and all these guys, Mitt Romney down there. I don't know why Michelle Obama's in there, that's kind of weird. I'm, I'm kind of questioning why she's there. And Thomas Jefferson, you're an asshole. Don't know why, you just are. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the custom creator. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make Jesus Quesadilla. Oh wow, these body types are crazy. Jesus is an evil crab robot. He's a buff bodybuilder. I don't know, I kind of like the robot body, whoa. Well, I think these robes might do okay. He looks kind of like a cultist like that, though. But let's see if we can change the color on those. Alrighty, guys, we got our candidate all made up here. Now, I guess now we get to assign point values to the issues they support. And since, uh, well, a Christian nation, I'm assuming Jesus would be entirely in favor of that. Oh, wow, they only give you 50 points, though. That kind of sucks, but yeah. Strong military, well, he wants us to turn the other cheek, so I'm guessing not at all, and then that kind of doesn't leave me much else for the rest of the board, oh well. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I can't figure out how to add points and... Oh, I have to choose a Republican. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Who should I pick? Who would be the easiest? Um... Oh my god, really? <laughs> I, I, I feel like Sarah Palin on the easiest difficulty must be like face roll for this game. I can't believe that that's even an option to go against her, but okay. Bring it on, Palin. Win the state, win the election. Travel the states, make them blue to win their votes. Okay. Alright. Seems pretty basic. It's kind of like Risk. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to see, I guess. Um, oh, so we already start out with a couple states in our favor. Yeah, I chose Hawaii as my hometown just because that's where I'm actually from. Um... And I don't know why they actually put Alaska down there. That's kind of stupid that geographically they think Alaska's, like, right next to Hawaii, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and take control of California. I should probably look and see which states are, like, swing states and which ones count for more votes, because I really don't know that. I'm pretty politically unaware, but, um, let's do a campaign speech in California. Let's see if the governor likes Jesus. Um, oh, that's cool. You can actually say stuff about your opponent. I might want to do that instead. Cut her down. Like, she needs any help with that, though. Alright. Okay. You know what? I decided to forget this. I'm just going to bring the fight to her home territory. Alaska, I don't care if you're a Republican state right now. I am going to seize control. So let's just go ahead and build up a campaign headquarters right in her hometown. Take that, Palin. Suck my dick. Alright, and then let's go ahead and... Wait. Firing big... Oh no, I can't believe they actually put that in there. Jesus, quesadilla, 
supports firing Big Bird. I can't run that. No one will vote for me. Okay, let's just say I support a Christian nation. Because I do. Take that, Palin. Bring it, bitch. Okay, let's see what this is all... Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Okay, so I guess you can hire these dudes. And you accumulate points somehow. I have no idea how I'm doing that or how fast it happens, but... I kind of want to hire an Intimidator. That sounds like it'd be pretty effective. I don't think I need a fashion consultant. I get the feeling Jesus was going to dress meekly no matter what. Um... Speechwriter? No, I, I get the feeling pretty well spoken. What could I do with though? An Intimidator? Yeah, I'm not that intimidating besides the whole Son of God thing. Let's go ahead and leave one of those here in Alaska. So if Palin ever comes back, we can just beat the holy hell out of her. Um, okay, what state do I want next? I don't even know what half of these states are. I'm so geographically challenged. Oh, I probably should pay attention in US history. That would have helped a lot here. Now this is cool. It kind of gives you like a news rundown at the end of the week. Alright, so I set up a new headquarters. Crying babies. Don't dismiss Palin yet. One pundit noted, with both candidates just getting started, it's much too early to predict a winner. There's an intoxicated staff member at my party. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Living it up. No one said you can't. That's kind of weird. I just noticed this question mark over here. I wonder what happens if you actually fly over there. Media dark. Oh, she has a halo. She must be one of my disciples. Good for you, child. Okay, so I guess if a question mark is on a stake, that means go there and you get some sort of bonus. That's cool. All right, what do I want to do here? Let's go ahead and slander my opponent. Or now let's build me up some because I've just been talking shit about Palin this whole time. I actually need to give them a reason to vote for me instead of her. Alright, so I guess building these things is supposed to help, it's kind of like the Sims in that regard. Or not Sims, but like, Civilization might be a better comparison. Let's fundraise some. I just noticed, I started out with 5 million dollars and now I'm down to like, 400,000. I really blew all my cash in a hurry, I want those 21 weeks to just hurry up, because right now I'm in the lead, it seems like anyway. Oh cool, you even get to choose a running mate, okay. Huh, who do I- I don't even know who half of these people are. Uh, I could just bring John F. Kennedy back from the dead, I guess. Michelle Obama. Thomas Jefferson, I hate you. You're a douchebag. Okay. Don't even know who half of you guys are, though. Don't know who this guy is. Um, God. Who do I want? I kind of just want to go with Bill Clinton. He can play the sax. That might come in handy. In Arkansas. I don't think I've campaigned there, so... That might help. I'm, I'm assuming that whoever, whatever running mate you pick, he helps you campaign in like his home state or whatever. All right, hire operatives and get endorsements. I would like endorsements. That would be nice. Can I get endorsements from like, I don't know, like Microsoft and Sony and stuff like that? Okay, so it doesn't work quite like that. I guess it's more like activism groups. I would do the Christian Confederation, but they cost too much. I'm guessing because I'm a Democrat and not a Republican. Um, so I guess I'll go and support of colored people. Because I'm pretty sure Jesus was black anyway, wasn't he? God, I'm just noticing how much I've fallen from the beginning. I was spending all my money on, like, TV ads, and now I can barely afford to do the radio thing. I've been doing radio and newspaper everywhere I go. I feel like I've just gone flat broke. And half of these states are just no good for getting funds from. The only one that's been reliable is California, but I get the feeling because it's such a big state and because I've pretty much got California in the bag at this point. So I don't have any problem throwing money at me. But let's see all the little news updates, what's been going on. Hmm. <laughs> Sarah Palin loves puppies. Oh, that's... I don't think that's actually important to her stance on any of the actual issues. Yeah, and I, I, I hired a scandal monger. I, I don't think you actually want to publicly advertise that, but okay. And of course, Jesus loves the black peoples. Okay, I just need to cut from the action, like, momentarily. I just noticed, holy freaking crap, Alaska is strongly in favor of me. How and when did that happen? I have no idea, but take that, Palin, and I, I have pretty much, like, this entire western, midwest half of the board stands Texas, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself, although from 
what memory tells me, I feel like more of the eastern states are really the important ones, so... Don't really know if this strategy is paying off that well, but I got Alaska, damn it. Oh, Christian Confederation, why you no want me? I am your lord's son, come on. Okay, I just realized I'm flat broke. I didn't think this was even going to happen, but I'm so damn broke. I'm just stuck campaigning in random states just so I can have airfare. This is a pretty sad state of affairs. Oh, but I guess for being lazy and doing nothing, that was actually a good thing, because it increased my stamina. I wish I had known that earlier. Alright, I think this is actually like the last week here, so I think, yeah, we're going to start tabulating the results. Um, I really don't know how this is going to go. It was pretty neck and neck there at the end when I ran out of money, and holy crap, I did not realize how much of the East Coast she just dominated. Oh, Jesus. No pun intended. Oh man, it's just red. East. Damn it. Yeah, I was pretty much blatantly ignoring that, and oh, she even got Florida. You always want to win Florida, I know that much. Oh man. Yeah, this is not going well. She's. Oh my god, you only need 270 to win. She's so going to kick my ass before we even get to my half of the board. Oh, what's this bullcrap? I won way more states than her. She just won ones that were more. Densely populated. Yeah, of course you get Texas. Crap. Well, I still got a chance. If I win, like, every other state from this point forward, I might have a shot here. Oh, I... Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, man. She needs, like, one more ballot and she beat me. Crap. Oh. I lost to friggin' Sarah Palin on the easiest difficulty level with twice as much money as her. Oh, my friggin' God. Oh, yeah, I better get Hawaii, damn it. And Alaska. Yeah, you know what? I don't care if I lost. I took your goddamn home state, so there. And I won more of the states overall, so... I think I should be the winner. Oh, what I concede? Oh, man, I'm sorry, Bill. Let you down, buddy. We'll get her next year. All right, well... I wonder if there's, like, a breakdown for results here. You can look at exit polls. That's kind of cool. Oh... Uh, that's weird. It says she actually spent more money than me. How's that even possible? Because I started out with more than her, and I ended up broke. I'm pretty sure she didn't. That's really weird. She somehow... Unless it, it changes it so both candidates get that much money, but even still, she must have done some really good campaigning. Pretty much the nail in the coffin, I think. But if you've enjoyed this video, please do feel free to subscribe to me so you can stay updated when I post new videos to my channel. Give it a good run, guys. Till next time, this has been Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace! How the fuck did I lose to Sarah Palin of all people? God!